I want to plan a trip to Canton. I love it. I need some new furniture. Willie embarrassed me last time when he bought that horsehair coat. He was like fat guy in a little coat? No, it, it was <laughs> like a stinky horse on a fat man. That's what it was like. <laughs> There he is. Oh, speak of the devil, there he is. Okay, I need help fill the land. I forgot my boots. Does he have an extra pair? Go in there. You'll find it. You'll see them. Okay, have you seen this room? I live here. Of course I've seen the room. Okay, there's so much crap in there, I can't find nothing. It's a little cluttered. There's a panda. Stop throwing that. You're gonna break That's garbage. Something. I get after mom all the time, and it's just playful and it's just joking. Hey, that's a typewriter. Ooh. If she wants to fill her house up with a bunch of stuff, hey. But she does need to hear it, though. What is this? You know the man that brings me the eggs? What am I supposed to put him in? Hey, this is garbage. My things are collections. I don't care what they say. Why do you have clothes laying here? I, I get a shirt for every airport I go through. Give me that. OK, it's out of control. No. No, you know what you not. look like? What? You look like a hoarder. I do have hoarding tendencies. It said it's a mental disorder, so I may have that. We have mental illness in my family and Phil's. It kind of makes you see why the boys are like they are. Clean this crap up. If he broke that tower, he's going to pay for that. I mean, boys, this is what I was talking about. I mean, it's not that bad. However, we need a refurbishing of it. My idea of happiness is killing things. Boop, 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 boop. So duck blinds are a big thing for me, especially one I've spent 20 years shooting ducks out of. Looks like we got us a snake den here. They've all denned up here. We killed a lot of ducks out of this hole right here, out of this little old blind. I mean, it can be fixed. Now, I know you're sentimental toward it, but I'm just, the best thing to do is just to let it go and let's start over. Phil has like 35 blinds down there, but he gets really sentimental. He gets hung up on one because back in 87, I, we shot that whatever out of it. And I'm like, Dad, you've got to let these things go. Willie Boy and Jace, since they weren't in on the building, they can just come in and say, yeah, let's get rid of it. You know, comes easy if you weren't down there building the doggone thing. Phil, there's only one way to deal with this blind. Hey, Red, you got it all wired up? Oh, yeah, it's ready to go. Ready to go, no mistakes. No mistakes. Let's do this. Willie has always been a destructive young man. I compare him to a young coon. What he can't tear up, he craps on. Blow that sucker up. Bar in the hole. All right, what happened? What happened, Red? Red. What do you think? Go ahead, Red. Whoa. Let me tell you a little bit about redneck logic. If you want to take something away from him, just blow it up, because then he's going to be so enamored by the fire Ooh. that he'll forget all about what he's losing. I mean, you can blow his house up. If it looks cool enough, he's fine with it. Where you been all day? Blowing duck blinds, so much as I hate to say it. You'll just have to get over it, won't you? Willie be the one that concocted that scheme. <laughs> a redneck stun if I ever seen one. It's never dull being married to a Robertson. Never. It's just like, you know, I'm the man, you're the woman. We're like in the cave, but not really. We're in modern times. 
They blew that Well, sucker. speaking of getting rid of things, that RV out there, it's ugly, and I want to get it out. I'm going to have a yard sale, and that's going to be the first thing to go. That is unlike you, to move stuff out. Well, it's a new day, Donnie. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're laughing I, at. You as much go. stuff as you've got around here, you talking about fixing to get rid of some of it? That's right. Well, what people need to realize about the South, everything is usable. One man's junk is another man's treasure. You know what? Let me give you a job. You and Jim Moret are going to go out there and get us some squirrels. I'm on it. I'm going squirrel hunting. I love fried squirrel. I always have since I was a girl, and especially the squirrel brains, which Phil loves to tell everybody in the whole world that, because they always go, ooh, gross. That's horrible. But I do like them. I can't help it. They're good. Kay wants me and you to go kill so much of squirrels. You want to fry up some that quick? The first time I went squirrel hunting, I was six years old. You gotta be a good shot, because they quick and they little. There you go, friend. I done missed that sucker again. Five sweet time. And next time, let me shoot it. No, Red, you're the bush shaker, son. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm the rifle man. I've seen you shooting. We're in trouble if we go home empty-handed. You never want to make the cook mad. When the grub runs out, things get tough around the house. There used to be a bunch of them up here. Got another one, Red. That's a big, fat cat squirrel there. He'll be sweet and juicy in the pot, just like Miss Kay likes it. They slicked me the first couple of hours, but hey, you can't even spell squirrel without SI. And that's me. You don't realize how long I've worked on that. Me, I'm the CEO of the business. Jace, he tunes and designs all the calls. I mean, he is an artiste. He's like a duck whisperer. He speaks duckanese. Once you get that sound, you got it. Jace invented a duck call called the Triple Threat. It's got three reads instead of two, but it took him six months to come up with one. I went out and sold thousands and we need thousands in our bin to ship out. What exactly is the problem? Why is it taking so long? To... Si has to do the reads. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what all he's doing up here, but on the double read system, I could do a 1,000 a day in eight hours, 500 Si, you a ain't ever worked eight hours in the day. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah, how much of that was nap time? Yeah. Now, if we go... Look here, don't get in on the nap, boy. Hey, hey. everybody's saying it's just going to take time. How much time is that? Hey. I feel sorry for Willie in a way. He's got a lot of headache because he's the CEO of the business, OK? But when it comes to me, he's my nephew, I'm his uncle, and hey, I'm going to take me a good two hour nap, maybe three. It's like the story of the little red hen. Everybody wants to eat the pie, but nobody wants to help make the pie. We need like a number. We need like this day, this day. We'll have them here. This is when it's going to be on the market. Ballpark, guesstimate, anyone? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? My dad never comes to the warehouse. I mean, never. When he comes in the door, you know something's up. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? My dad never comes to the warehouse. I mean, never. When he comes in the door, you know something's up. I've been thinking. I have come up with a solution for that stunt you pulled, blowing my duck line up. That needed to happen. We've got to replace that duck line. As you know, your mama's been on my back about this raggedy RV parked in my yard. We're going to take that thing, stick it about 20 foot up in there on a platform, and we're standing there shooting ducks out of it. Oh, good Lord. Here we go. I can see that RV 20 feet up, camouflage net, brushed up. I mean, I can see it as something you'd say, looky here, looky here. Good times have come our way. I mean, this is like some kind of deal out of Hollywood. Think about it, boys. It will be the mother of all duck lines. 
Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> my family is only interested in hunting and being out there in the woods, but that doesn't pay the bills. It's not a bad idea. It's a tree house for adults. An RV in the trees? I thought it was brilliant. All hands on deck oh my for the mother of all duck blinds. See you in the woods. But we've got work to do. So much for the duck calls. Here's the deal. Phil started the company. I mean, behind my name is CEO, but in reality, Phil's gonna get what he wants. This is the worst idea in the history of Duck Commander. <laughs> this will be our new home, boys. Phil, this is in worse shape than the one we got rid of. This is nice now, I'm oh, telling yeah. you. Real nice, Phil. Look at this. I mean, you got running water. Well, this is the nastiest thing. <laughs> How do you get in there? It's a dead gum possum. It was just an old possum that had gotten up in that RV, and on a spur of the moment, I said, what would happen if you threw a possum on a man? We got a man down. <laughs> Married a yuppie girl living in the subdivision. That's what happens to you. A possum will scare you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my question is, how are you going to get it in the trees? I got reinforcements coming. I hear some kind of machinery, boys. Being a wealthy redneck does have its advantages. The cavalry has arrived. Because no matter how dumb an idea is, <laughs> all right, boys, let's get to work. We can always hire an entire redneck army to make sure the job gets done. Phil didn't believe me when I told him I was gonna have a yard sale and get rid of all that junk. But I thought, well, I've lived with this junk in this house for years. So we're gonna do it, and that's the way it's gonna go. What are you looking at on these guns right here? I would say $20. $20? These guns are about 100 years old. Does that sound like a good price to you? Yeah, that's a good idea. My daughter-in-laws will be so happy to help me with this, because they want to get rid of the junk. Oh, oh JJ. JJ, you got to go. What is a fly swatter? Oh. That chair is the most disgusting thing. I mean, it stinks. There's a few dog toys. It's got duck feathers on it. That's thing. There's no telling how much food, Phil's beard hair. Insects, that chair is a health hazard, so it's got to go. <laughs> Phil's always like, don't touch my stuff, don't touch my stuff. He's going to be mad. Zach, get up there. Put a screw in it. Willie, the CEO, loves to work in the business, make money, make your business successful. Level enough. Willie, the CEO, is not going to go all out to make sure that a trailer gets up in the air 10 feet. My hands are clean of this whole deal. i never seen a bunch of rednecks accomplish so much so quickly. Well, what are you doing? I can't stand up. My knee's hurting. I mean, is that, is, is he kidding? Five minutes before we started working, you got a career in the knee injury. I heard it when he threw the possum at me. Well, Willie doesn't like manual labor. He doesn't like to sweat. It's been my studied opinion that once you get the title CEO, if you interject manual labor, injuries begin to occur. What you ought to do is get you a crew. Y'all get over there and you get it painted by the time we get this thing knocked out. I don't know if I can stand up and paint. You can do this. He's like a blister. He shows up when the work's all gone. <laughs> The garage sale is officially on. You like it? Good. Even when you have a garage sale, it's like any other thing I have at my house. It's always food involved, always. I love meeting new people. Come back and see me. A party's not a party without jambalaya. Thank you. Hey, Uncle Sa. Si. Yeah? Are you about to lose your cup? Oh, no, Willie, I ain't gonna lose this cup. I spent 24 and a half years in the military, and half the people didn't know my name. But when they said, oh, yeah, you know him, it's always that guy that comes to formation with that Tupperware glass full of iced tea in his hand. So where all's that cup been? Let's see, Fort Polk, Louisiana, 
Fort Knox, Kentucky, Germany, three or four places over there, Vietnam. Mama sent it packed in a care package with a Tupperware glass in it in 68 when I was in Vietnam. Do you wash it in the dishwasher? No, I bleach it. You wash your dishes in bleach? This is my trademark. That's some kind of collector's item. There's three things I travel with. One of them is this cup. The other is a gallon jug of tea. And then the final and most important one thing is the Bible. I never leave home without them three things. What about a weapon? Well, hey, that's number four. Perfect. Boy, I'm proud of that job y'all did there. Boys, it looks like a million dollars. Let's raise it up. I'm a duck blind builder from way back, but this one is a little different. Let me put it that way. That RV is just a piece of junk. If one screw falls out of it, all the walls will fall out, and it'll just tumble over right there. Good luck getting that thing in the air. Well, hey, are we going to lift this thing up and put it up there or not? Ty, so why are you saying hey every sentence? No, no, hey. What does hey mean? Just, I'm just wondering. Y'all give it the meaning you want it to have. Hey. The word hey is like a fabric woven into size character. Hey, Owen. Let's go. Hey, these clowns, hey, they don't know what they're doing. He just hey it again. Hey. Hey. It's automatic. I say, hey, hey. Hey can mean yes. Hey can mean maybe. Hey can mean no. Hey can mean next week. The bottom line is you got to understand me to understand hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get it done, boys. Oh, yeah. Smooth, steady as you go. Uh -huh. All right, he's on down. Watch the extension. Hey, go pick up a little bit and then move on out. Now we cook up a peanut oil. Hey. <laughs> Hey, okay. hey, hey. <laughs> Come on in, boys. Watch this. Huh? We got heat. What about that? We can cook. Microwave. That works. Coffee maker, huh? My house isn't this nice. It's a wooded getaway. Now, that was more Willie's department. Decorating. I like it in there. Nice. But this is more nice. Hey, this is a good view. I'm glad you blew it up, Will. I hear you. I bet I could sell one or two of these. Well, thank y'all. All right, see y'all later. Somebody actually bought that chair. I can't believe it. I thought it was just going to go to the dump, but they actually bought it. Sometimes it amazes me what people will spend good money on. Kind of like that squirrel there. Well, I can tell you that squirrel. I got another squirrel I can put him beside. Uh, would you take five for him? I'll take five. You would? You can have it for five. All righty. That looks like my chair. That's my squirrel. Hey, my man. Hey, Willie. What are you doing with my squirrel? I bought it at a garage sale. Corey's having down the road. That's my squirrel. I didn't know it was your squirrel. Yeah, it's my squirrel. Well, I gave $5 for it. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to give you 10 and I'm taking it back. I'd rather have the squirrel, Willie. Let me rephrase this. I'm going to give you $10. This deal's over. I apologize for the inconvenience. Hey, Mountain Man. Hey. Hey, Mountain Man. What in the world's all this? Hmm. Hey. Miss Kay, tell me that was not my chair heading up the road with them hippie girls. I would say it's kind of a shock to a man's system, you know, when some of his stuff is out in the yard being pawned off to the local rednecks. 47 years married to your mama. Getting rid of his chair like getting rid of his dog. I've been married to Phil since I was 16. 
He always has trouble letting go of things and any kind of change. It's junk. We had a garage sale. We got rid of the junk. I didn't consider my chair at this point to be rummage. Hey, buddy, I'll get you a new chair. How about that? Now we cook up a peanut oil. There you go. Women are like Labrador retrievers. You know, they all have quirks. But you stay married to one 45, 50 years, you learn to go with the quirks. How much did y'all make? Almost $600. I want 10 of it back, because I just had to buy this back. <laughs> How about y'all go clean up and get ready for supper? Hey, I'm on my way. Father, we thank you for the woods, we thank you for the water, and we thank you for all the things that live in them. Thank you for blessing us tonight, especially with this good meal. Hey. 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 Let's get into some of these bushy tails. People are nature's number one creature of habit. We tend to get comfortable, stuck in our ways, and fear change. We like to hold on to old things in order to hold on to old memories, when usually they keep us from making new ones. Sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and make a clean break from the past to start a fresh beginning. Hey, Uncle Si. Hey. 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 <laughs> Willie. Stupid dog peed on my back. That's a dog saying, I don't like you. You know, most people say, hey, man, I don't like you anymore. No. Oh. But a dog pees on your back. I set my bag down for like two seconds. Well, I trained him. Anybody coming up in the yard, pee on their stuff. Why would you train them to pee on stuff? That's a yuppie deterrent. Pee on their stuff. I just send them down the road. Lately, when I visit my parents' house, I spend most of my time yelling at Bobo for peeing all over my stuff. He doesn't pee on my stuff. This is my yard. He pees on your stuff, not your yard. I've never seen such a tiny dog mark so much territory. If he goes to your yard, no. Nah, that's your dog's job up there. They pee on my stuff when I go to your yard. See what I'm saying? I don't know that they pee on anybody's stuff. He may look small, but he has a huge bladder because that dog can pee on anything. Well, you need to train your dogs to pee on other people's stuff. That's where you start. That's terrible advice. No. Either that or he just holds his pee until I come over. Well, he totally ruined my bag. I gotta buy another one now. Nah. Dog pee don't sneak out bad if you get used to it. You can use some of my perfume. There you go. I'm not putting perfume on my bag. They don't smell like pee and perfume. Actually, the dog peed on that pillow, and I put the perfume. You can't even tell it, can you? Yeah. Little dog pee never bothered me. Well, when you get my age, you can't smell like you used to could either. My nose ain't what it once was, which is a good thing. I can tell, because Bobo's butt's about eight inches from your face. The good news is, I don't smell a thing. Oh, my gosh. I still don't smell it. Oh, my. It's just a natural thing to do, you know? You need to take that dog some kind of training. What are you talking about? Take it up there in town. They got a dog training deal. Well, this dog is trained just like I like him. Not only is this dog trained to pee on yuppie stuff, he's trained to be suspect of all people who carry cell phones. Well, they say a dog is man's best friend, you know, but uh, dogs also are our companions, our security, garbage disposal. Start toward me and watch this dog. That dog, this dog's only trained to fart, I think. Willie thinks he's misbehaving, but I think it's just old Bobo being a dog. Watch him. <laughs> Get that criminal. Good job, good job. Uh, I'm trying to think of a time when Bobo misbehaved. You're smiling, you're petting. Hey, uh, be nice. This is our trip to the magazine. Dead bird. Bobo, stop it. <laughs> and I can't think of a time. That's what you call dog training. All right, I'm booking a class. That dog's getting trained tomorrow. Now look, go pee on the stuff. <laughs> it's all over tomorrow, Bobo. All right, boys, here she is. This thing has everything but the kitchen sink. It has a bathroom on it. It's nice, I'm telling you. 
Why would you have a bathroom on a pontoon? Can't you just go over the side? That's what a lake was made for. Yes. Everything in the Redneck Society is recycled. All right, boys, here she is. Once an item, and I mean any item, is no longer useful, you hand it down to someone else to repurpose. One fine piece of equipment right here, fella. So when I found out my buddy Tim had a gently used pontoon boat in his yard, this is awesome. I knew I had to jump on it before someone else did. I think it's a piece of junk. Well, my thoughts, too. There's pine straw in it. It's gonna be like the Titanic of the duck world. That's right. Y'all are missing the potential here. What y'all doing with her, anyway? I'm gonna turn this into the greatest duck blind ever. Hmm. Hmm. Trust me. To some, you see a broken down old pontoon boat. Does that thing float? What are you talking about, does it float? Man, look at that. Jump. I float all day long. And that's exactly what it is. I don't trust that. Y'all yeah, check no. it out. Put the weight to it, boys. But what I see is the skeleton for one of the greatest ideas that I've ever had. I heard it crack. I didn't do that. I see the future of duck hunting as we know it. So what you fellas think of Billy Joe? What are you talking about, Billy Joe? You mean the piano man? Why'd you name the boat after a man? You thought it's the piano man? But they're supposed to be named after a woman. It was, man. I named her after my grandma, Billy Joe. Yeah, that can be girl or guy. Hey, you know, I thought you were talking about the piano man. She did play the piano, huh? I actually almost went out on a date with a girl named Billy Joe. What happened? You figured out she was a man? Uh-oh. Mm. No, look. Let's cut to the chase. What do you want for it? i tell you what, if y'all can get it out of here, you can have her. That's my kind of deal. Give me a boat, the pontoon man. Hello. Hi. We're here. Hey, Karen, how you doing? This must be Bobo. The one and only. Yep, he needs some work. He Come needs here. some work. Well, tell me, what has Bubba had any formal training before? No, he has none. He's not trained at anything. Corey's friend Karen is supposed to be the best dog trainer around, kind of like our local dog whisperer. He can find squirrels and snakes. He's a dog. That's what they do. Who hopefully can whisper something in the stupid dog's ear that he'll understand. Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? OK, we're in a building. Something like, hey, dum-dum. Stop peeing all over Willie's stuff. All right, so what is our focus for today? I'd like for him to stop peeing all over my stuff. Then I want him to learn to do tricks. I really think in the high jump. He could, we could teach him some agility and jump and tunnel and oh, tire. Yeah. Well, well, and that's not our main there. concern, is him being in a high jump contest. Don't you want him to be the best he can be? No. Uh-oh, there he goes. There's a bird. Oh, Bobo, what is that? What is it? Where's the squirrel? All right, we need to unfocus him from that bird and put it back on you. I want to see if you can, can you call him to you? Can you really? Bobo! Bobo! I don't care what Willie says. I think Bobo's a good boy. Come on! Come on, Bobo! No, no! Come here, Bobo! Bubba. He's just like any Robertson man. Bubba! Come here, you wanna eat? I don't think he's coming back. I have to repeat myself 10 times before he listens. Willie, get that bird! Get that bird, Willie! Mom, you don't have to use that voice for me. All right, so we have our work cut out for us, okay? Get him to stop peeing all over <laughs> everything. That's job one. Yep, there he goes, right there. Yep. Oh, look, he yes, said. he did. Very good. Oh, good. Nice job. Boy. Why are we praising him for peeing all over everything? Well, I actually praising him for coming back to her when she called him. So now, after he pees on my back, he'll just come right back to Miss Kay. Yeah, and that's a step forward. You start out with baby steps. That's right. Got to start little and work up. Oh, great. It shouldn't take long at all. Here's 
the plan. Everything but the floor leaves. And then we use that as the platform, the foundation for the two walls, the roof, and the mobile seating area. Look, I'll simplify this for y'all, OK? Simplify. Look, we want to strip the whole thing down to where it ain't nothing but the floorboard and the rail left on this puppy. Si. What? That's what, I, that's what I just said. Well, uh, but hey, I'll simplify Look, for it. This is the mobile duck blind. You got any questions? What do you get when you put a duck blind on a couple of old pontoons, add an engine, and put it in water? Now, what I need y'all to do is clear all this out. Then we break out the armament for it. And we're going to arm this puppy look with a 50 caliber machine gun. Only the greatest invention ever conceived, a mobile duck blind. I'm taking this puppy into international right. oh, water. Yeah. This is a serious killing Duck mobile. But you're breaking the law. I call it the aqua blind. I need a weapon. Sledgehammer will do. Throw me the sledgehammer. That might be a bad choice, okay, if you fix to start some work. Uh oh. I'm in. Toss it. Hey. Do you want to know how we're going to do this? Mm hmm. You go to something about like this. There went the poker table. Right, there went the poker table. There you go. Why y'all just standing there? Nothing excites rednecks more than getting to tear stuff up. All right, boys, let's see what y'all got. That's all of it. Yep. If you want to see serious destruction, just hand a redneck a sledgehammer or a chainsaw. Easy, boy, easy, easy. Y'all are dangerous. But I recommend you get out of the way. Good grief. It ain't oh, pull that up. It's tougher than I thought it was. Hey, 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 hey. Hold up. Take yeah, hold easy. up. Watch this. It's gone. Uninstalled, baby. I'm good at tearing stuff up. I'm going to get me some fried chicken. I got to get some gas. You want some snacks? Hot chips and white donuts. You got it. Bubbo! You stuck her to death! Especially the little short, chubby one. He was the first one I shot. <laughs> you go. Well, hey, Jason, Martin, and Gowan, they pulled it off. They was able to turn one man's pile of junk into another man's pile of junk. Martin! What? Give me two chicken legs with a snowball. All right, you got it. But I'm not quite sure why Jace thinks he needs gas. I think this thing is going to go down like the Titanic. But look, this thing ain't going but one direction, and that's down. Quit being a negative. To the bottom. Bloop, 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 bloop. To the bottom. Matter of fact, I may bring old Gepito along with the, with the camera and say, hey, look, you need to record this, you know, because we might send it in for, uh, you know, send me your videos, yeah. and you get cash. Yeah. Might win 10 grand. Hey! Friendly old boy in that pickup. They're all coming to take a look at our aqua blind. Look, the fact that this aqua blind is turning heads is a positive sign. We ease this thing in there, and we get into stealth mode, and then we... Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> and that's exactly what a duck's gonna think is... <gasps> The hunting community realizes that I'm on to something here. Well, if you see us come riding by, don't be alarmed. That's get just us. Gun. Don't get your gun. And they're right. We are on to something. We all friendly. Boom, boom, boom! All the hours dead. He's crazy. I don't mind if you look, just not too close. I think she saw Sy si up there and it's scaring her. He thinks he's invisible. You can't see me. Good luck. Thank you. Why are you trying to scare everybody? I'm just checking to make sure it works. You gonna give somebody a heart attack, and then what are you gonna do? Oh, look, hey, I had one of them. Ain't no big deal. Where is Martin and Goblin with those snacks? We sent the wrong boys in the store to get food. They'll never make it back. <laughs> 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 
So by watching Bobo and watching you, the problem seems to be that he doesn't really respect you as the leader of his pack. So we're going to kind of redirect that a little bit. I want him to pay attention to you, and we're going to do a little exercise. I want you to tap your nose, and as soon as he makes eye contact, I want you to give him this cookie quickly, okay? Say, watch me. Watch me? Good boy, and then give him the cookie. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Look how well he's doing, Willie. Aren't you thrilled? He's sitting there eating snacks. It's not rocket science. It's just going to do whatever you want. Well, I, I respond to snacks, too. I think this whole obedience thing can be good for me and Bobo. Willie, I could actually exercise here. I mean, look at this. It's the beginnings of me starting a healthy program. It's like he and I are going on a journey together. You could give me like a sun chip. I love sun chips. Me and my little pioneer dog. He's like my little Davy Crockett. If I did the whole obstacle, I really love meatballs. <laughs> they are so good with Parmesan cheese. And Karen is like our wilderness guide. I think it might be a safety issue, though, for you, so probably not. I hope they do souvenir pictures here. Well, let's focus back on Bobo right now. He looks very relaxed, so. He's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> Look at that, Will. You should be so proud of this trip up here today. We've been here like two hours, and all Bobo's done is peed, eat, and slept. He's tuckered out because he's been working so hard, but he sees the doggy Olympics in his, in his, uh-oh. He may see that bird, too. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. Say, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Come on, come look at me, Bobo. I think he's pretty much locked in on the bird. Well, it's been great, but I think we're done for the day. Okay. I think that's enough for one day. <laughs> he's learned a lot today. He's learned so much. He's learned so much. He has. He has. Oh, brother. So how'd it go? He learned some tricks. You want to watch? Oh, brother. Look, look. Look at me, Bobo. Hey, hey, look at me. Wait, watch me. Watch me. Look at me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. Right here. Right here. <gasps> Good boy. Did you see how he looked in my eyes, Phil? That was the trick? That's you the trick. see how he looked in my eyes? Good boy. Let's look at me and I'll give you something to eat. That's it. I have to look into my eyes, look into my yeah, eyes. Yeah, that should be fairly easy to teach to a dog. Look at me and I'll give you something to eat. You know, it's a funny thing what passes for our lesson these days. See, it rubbed off on JJ, his new trick. Mom, that doesn't prove anything. It's not even the right dog. That dog was just eating what's in your hand. No. If dog school is anything like America schools, we all in trouble, dogs and man. Look how it looks into my eyes. Have you not noticed that? Look. Yeah, because the hand with the dog food in it is on your face. Of course, Willie learned a good lesson. Look at me in the eyes. They're just eating. Don't try to retrain a perfectly trained machine like old Bobo. Well, they were wrong. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I guess I'll watch my bag the whole time I'm here so he doesn't pee on it. Yeah. Oh, brother. Just keep going. Don't be scared. Hey, he knows the creek's back there somewhere, boys. We're heading toward it, at least. I ain't hit anything yet. Boy, he ain't hit nothing yet. Hey, he's just freewheeling it like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I do know what I'm doing. Yeah, that. yeah, you're just praying for a miracle here. <laughs> In all my years of duck blind building, I can honestly say I have never been more proud. I'm getting in the boat. When I launch it, throw me the rope, and I'll pull you back up there. I actually consider myself a duck blind artist. We can get wet, fellas. Here we go. Oh, boy. That's all of it. Da, 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 da. Oh, God. And this is my masterpiece. We're free, boys. I'll be dead go. Hey. A ship's a sail. The aqua blind is perfection. Are y'all gonna come over here or what? All right, fire that motor up. And then, hey, head toward the bank. Hup. Eureka! All right, hey. Hey, head toward the bank. Head toward 
I can't see anything. Are y'all going to pick me up? Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Hey, hey you got to steer me. Hang, all right, hang hard right. Hard right. And give her full right. throttle. Full throttle, hey, hard we right. Gonna hang, we don't do nothing half throttle. All right, hang a hard left, Martin. Wrong way, hard left. Do what? Oh, hard oh, left. Oh, oh, I can't oh, hear oh, nothing oh. over the motor. Hey, you're going in circles. I right, can't. Straight, straight up. up. Straight up. up. Straight straight up. up. Straight up. Right. Hang a right. So I need to go right. Go to the left. Look, go to the big tree. There's 57 trees. Hey, no, the big one on the end. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! I can't see anything! Right. Reverse! 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 Reverse. 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 Get on now. All right, back it up. Oh. All right, back, back her up, Martin. Here we go. Embarking! One thing's for sure, it floats. We're headed to the land beyond. What can I say? It's genius. It floats and it's gonna be awesome for duck hunting. Boy, we're going where no duck blind has ever been or has ever gone before. Once duck season actually begins. I'm wondering how this will work when we try to get up and shoot. You know, when everybody gets up, if it'll rock. Let's give it a test run. Let's rock oh, the yeah. boat. Rock the boat, baby. Whoa, 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 this is a duck blind. Turn on the red light, rock the <laughs> Y'all done rocked the boat too much. How do I got seasick? All right, let's bow. All right. Father, thank you for another day on planet Earth. Thank you for the great hope we have to leave it alive because of what you did through Jesus. It's in his name I pray. Amen. Amen. It's like the old saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some may see a useless piece of junk when they see a broken down old pontoon boat, but Jace, he sees it as a camouflageable duck killing machine. And although I see a spoiled little pee pee machine when I look at Bobo, Miss no, no! Kay sees him as a sweet little extra child. The point is, it's good to see things your own way, as long as you can embrace the way other people see it too. Huh! Even if you have to buy a new backpack to replace the old one covered in dog pee. Mom, your dog peed on my bag again. Good boy, Bobo. Man, this is heaven, man. Yeah, look at this stuff. Boy, this is a nice store, JP. God. Thank you, Willie. We're really excited to have you guys in here. Appreciate the opportunity. Bass Pro Shop called me with some awesome news. They want to give us an entire section in their store. Man, this place is exciting. Which is impressive. Look at this. Unless you're Jace, who is impressed by little things like colors and shapes and... Night crawlers. Yeah, that's cute, Jace. It's worms. Worms. They got a house for them. Jace, we're trying to talk business here, son. Look at this, I need one of these. We got a real nice area set up for you. Everything Duck Commander's been touching lately has been turning to gold. Well, how I about a little have free full... stuff, then, if everything we're touching is turning to gold? Don't ask for free stuff. I need a new reel. Jace is always crossing the boundaries. Jace, put that down before you break it. How about some free stuff? Quit asking for free stuff. I appreciate Jace's effort here, but we need to be realistic. Free stuff is awesome. Forget what he said. Do we get a discount, though? Like, best discount is free. We can work on a discount. A here. deep discount or just a little discount? Or... Why don't we go upstairs and check out this area we got set aside for you? Yeah. Getting our own section in Bass Pro is a huge honor. Whoa. This is awesome. This is awesome. Best part of it is they're letting me design it however I want. Maybe a big Duck Commander logo? Shoot, yeah. You know what you need? There's like a big neon sign that flashes. Duck man, duck man. Chase, that's a terrible idea. What are you talking about? I know this. If you stripped your clothes off and put on neon and went running down the street, it draws your attention. Everybody would notice. When people see neon signs, they gravitate toward it. They actually cheer. We're not doing a neon sign. <laughs> What do you guys think about maybe a big Duckman photo? Yeah. The whole family, dad, yeah. brothers. I like that. If you guys get me a couple of pictures, we should have it ready to go by middle of next week. Sounds like a plan. You know what? A photo outlined in neon. No. That's it. No neon. Three.
No, when you just asked that, go fish. Why did we pick this game? Because we wish we were fishing. Don't, yep, don't, it's my turn. No, it ain't your turn. Have y'all done anything today? No. You winning? No. You know, most people are stuck in junior high, and y'all are kind of pre-K in here. It's old school, man. Hey, the simplest games, hey, they're the best games. Jeff, are you actually on a Game Boy? Yeah, it's on like Donkey Kong. Hey, look here. Horseshoes, simple. OK, kick the can, simple. Hey, jump. Hey, lawn darts, hey, simple. Wait a minute, you are playing Donkey Kong? Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. But now that I think about it, hey, lawn darts, them things are dangerous. Throw it. Uh-oh, OK. Whoa, uh-oh, in the head. You're dead. <laughs> George of the Jungle. Besides Donkey Kong, not Tarzan. I don't want to hear it. Hey, George of the Jungle, Jack. Gentlemen, hard at work, just like I like seeing you. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention, dude. OK. Just a big deal. Fire it up. Bass Pro Shop, a whole section of us. We're going to put a huge picture up. Giant picture? It's a huge poster. I've got some awesome ideas. Willie is the only non-woman that I know. I want to capture the essence of who we are. That gets excited about taking pictures. It needs to be gritty in your face. Let me tell you a secret. I can just see it now. You're not photogenic. Who's taking the photo? I'll hire a photographer. Why don't Jeff take the picture? I'll do it. Don't you want to be in the picture with us? I'd rather just take the picture. I got a new camera anyway. I'm going to test it out. Fine. You take the picture, I'll tell Phil, all right? We got the big unveiling on Saturday. Dude, I can't make it Saturday. I have a dodgeball game. Uh, you can miss that. Mm, no, I can't. It's the playoffs. Playoffs? He's talking about playoffs. It's the playoffs. Dude, it's the playoffs. All right, looking mean, looking tough. Hey, it's duck and dive, jive, dodgeball. I don't know about that, but... Bobo, quit being jealous of JJ. Don't you be jealous. Bobo, come here. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Is he jealous? Is he jealous of you? I've had a lot of dogs, and they all have different personalities. Just because sister got first bite, you quit pouting like a little old spoiled dog. I don't have any favorites, just like my children. Bobo, you're being ridiculous. But if I had to pick a favorite... JJ, you're a good dog. Jeff is my favorite. I don't even care, Bobo. Hey, Momo. Hey, hey y'all. How's my good-looking grandkids going? You got your pots. Where's Peppa? He's up at the warehouse. Jump's taking some pictures of them. So what are y'all doing? Just going bowling with some friends. Mm -hmm. Bowling? Yes, ma'am. Well, back in my day. Back in your day what? I was a bowler, don't you know? Really? I hadn't bowled in a long, long time. But I sure like it. Wow. Maybe we should go sometime. Yeah. It won't take me but a minute to get my stuff. I love bowling. We have to leave right now, though. OK. OK, let me shut this. Let me, uh, shut. Um, let me put this in here. I love writing with the little pencils on the little pad. It's real quick. Yeah. Right right now? Let me just get this all put up here. Um. Let me shut this off. And I would never miss a chance to spend more time with my grandbabies. All I have to do is just grab my jacket. Oh, I can't wait. This is wonderful. But this is wonderful. Are you oh. sure? You might yeah. want to put on some jeans or something. Bowling. She's going to change her pants, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she will. No, she won't. No, OK, be sure to put on some jeans. Bowling. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I'm afraid my tail off. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, my hands are like ice trickles. <laughs> Is that the plural form of icicles? What are you talking about? <laughs> I do not like cold. Hey, back in Nam one time, hey, it was 30 below, hey, 12 foot of snow. Everything had ice on it. Truck, 
people, trees, fire. Whoa! Uh, wow! Ooh. There went my testicles. It was so cold, this guy had to take a leak. Look here, it froze in midstream. From then on, we call this boy the Golden Arch. All right. What took you so long? Y'all ready? Yeah, what are we doing here? Standard stuff, low angle, trees in the background. No, 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 no. We're not doing anything standard. That's been done to death. I've been thinking about this a lot, and I want to do something really cool for the shoot. So I'm kind of thinking of the feel of, like, Rambo meets the Predator meets Duck Commander. I want muscles and sweat and cool and beards. The baddest of bad. When y'all see it, it'll all make sense. When you see this picture on the wall, you're going to say, that's bad. I mean, not the picture's bad, but I'm bad in the picture. That, you know what I'm talking about. Why are we doing this at a loading dock? That's the vision I had, and this is going to work. Look, I can help you with the vision here. Hey, Willie's got the wrong outlook on life, OK? Hey, I'll fix to make him see the world as I see it. Here, put them on, and it'll bring you into a totally different world, son. He probably won't be able to see nothing, OK? But hey, it will improve his looks. <laughs> hey, hey, now that's what I'm talking about. You're there. Hey, you're looking pretty good there, Will. What happens when you accidentally take them off? You can't see nothing. <laughs> hey, I got 20-20 with them, son. Hey, with these corrective lenses, hey, I see so good, I can actually see into the future. What I see is, hey, Willie's getting a lot fatter. <laughs> yeah. I told you to bring you into another world. Ooh. All right, focus, guys. Come on, let's get this. Jeff, the vision I got is um, it's gritty, mean and hard, action, hero, real hard looking, but kind of caring, okay? That sounds like me. No, it's nothing like you. Think action. You got it? Yeah. Hang on, let me move. Huh? Martin, you're too tall. We're clearly the backup singers here. It's hard to shoot around you. He's Michael Jackson. Front and center. You get right there. Let me Do get us right a here. favor and get in the middle. You know, I'm Tito. Oh, Willie's in oh, the middle. Oh. Jeps. Janet. Say cheese, everybody. Which actually makes sense. Hard. Hard action. That's a good one now. I had a good look on that one. Hey, Jep, make sure you leave enough headroom in here, you know, for submarine battle scenes and big mushroom clouds. Martin, don't be ridiculous. This is helicopters. Blackhawks coming in. Probably three of them. Right I'm the ridiculous us. one. I'll go along with this so we can get out of here faster. I don't care. Do it. Take it. Snap it. Shoot it. Jace, quit shooting the gun. Give me some action. That's not the action I was talking about. Hey, I'll smile, grin. Jace, come on, look. Hard, but a little sensitive. Cross my eyes and hope to die. Just get me out of here. See? See? Did it look like a sword? Pretty much. Check it out. Good, great job. Hang on, we need some more pictures. That's Jeff, that's not. He said it was no, good. You gotta that's take more. Picture. No. Jeff. We got a lot of pictures. Jeff, I wanna do some selfies. Jeff, let's do selfies till they get back. We're not through. Jeff. gonna be so much fun. How you doing, hey. Yes. Hey, how you doing? You know, my grandmother never used to go out with me when I was younger. <gasps> Look at those colorful balls. That's why I try to be open to new things when it comes to my grandkids. I'm Mama Kay. Okay. I'm Amy Catherine. I just love being around them. It's been 20 years since <laughs> I've had a ball in my hand. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Wait, I gotta go get the bowling shoes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll be right back. Bowling with Mama K. They might make a movie on that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these girls are after John Luke. Yoo-hoo! Got the shoes. I'll be like his wingman. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I used to do the same thing for Cy. I had that extra spray put in there, because I know you got that fungus last time. Remember that? But with John Luke, I don't get, get fungus. I got a lot more to work with. Everybody gets a little fungus. Yes, I do. Who's going to go first? I think I will. Look at these balls. They're as big as my bosom. This is a nightmare.
It's freezing outside, so let's go outside and freeze our butts off. Yeah, and wait. Why don't we take the picture and let's get out of here? Taking a picture on a loading dock, it's probably the worst. This thing's fast turning into a nut factory around here. Snapshot. That's what we're looking for. Snap. Get it over with. Click. Let's go. You know what we could do? You take pictures of us, and then we'll crop dust him in. Crop dust him? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Slow <laughs> 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 chili. What is this? Chuck Norris? Yeah. Delta Force 2. What's Delta Force 2? It's the sequel to Delta Force 1, you idiot. Hey, we're out here freezing our tails off, waiting on Willie, as usual. OK? And then Willie comes up here dressed like, who's that guy? Chuck Norris. Uh, Chuck Norris here? Martial art cat, you know? Chuck Norris is awesome. Kicking everybody and yelling, ah! Chuck Norris. Oh, yeah. Chuck Norris, you know. Willie looks like a chubby Norris. It's kind of slimming. Chunky Norris. I thought we were trying to get people to buy our stuff. Chase, I have a vision for this. This photo shoot is going to be sweet, like a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick to the Willie. Place. You don't think this picture's gonna look weird if you're looking like that and we're looking like we do? Hey, I made it my own. I got Rambo here, camo accented arms. All right, let's get one picture, though. Let's go. It's just for us, all right? All right, let's go. Now we're getting some All right. Just a smiling, all right? All right. Smiley pick. One, two, three. All right, I'm freezing. Oh! This picture is gonna be awesome. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Willie looks like oh, yeah. an idiot. He <laughs> does, kind of. <laughs> Chuck Norris would be proud or embarrassed. Woo, here I go. There she goes. These balls are heavy. Come on, Memo. Up oh, there it goes. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so much fun. Makes me feel like I'm 16 again. Oh, look at <laughs> it. Go, go, go. I don't care who wins. Uh-oh. Just got one. That's what I did. I just got one. Yeah, too slow. I just want to play. And I'm like, I was like, no, he wouldn't do that to you. Y'all talking about boys? No, ma'am. What are you talking about? Um, Have y'all had your sex talk with your parents and all that? Um, yes, yes. OK, well, let me just give you some little pointers about it. I don't know. It's OK. I'm going to use this moment with my grandkids as a real bonding experience. There's things married people do, and then there's things dating people, and you don't do the same thing. You don't want to do that. Back when I was a kid and bowling all the time, half the fun came from just sitting around talking. When the hands start reaching around, touching things, oh, no, nope, don't do that. Whispering in your ear all these sweet nothings, they might turn into something. You don't want to do that. You know, I just wish somebody gave me this speech 50 years ago. Holding hands, you don't want to do that. No tongue, too early. We don't want to do that. Pretty hair, don't do that. And you're the man, you don't do that. If she gets a little too close, you don't want to do that. I learned the hard way, buddy. Did I ever tell you about the time your father was conceived? Are you kidding me? This is the most fun I've had forever, Sadie. So glad y'all invited me. This is awful. It's really a shame that some grandkids don't want to hang out with their grandma. All right, Mama, I think it's time to go. Ready to go? I'm just glad that's not the case with John, Luke, and Sadie. Well, I guess we can just come back. We'll figure it out. We'll talk Hi. about it. We're going to come back. Make a date. Yep. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. This is a huge opportunity for us. This is where you go big time. How do I look? You look like a hairy marshmallow stuffed with blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's a big day. This is it. The big reveal of the Duck Commander section at Bass Pro. This place is huge. Boy, look at that thing. 
I'm like a 12-year-old girl fixing to go to a Justin Bieber concert. Everybody fired up? No. Oh. These guys wouldn't know a good opportunity if it hit them in the face. Or the beard. Oh, Thanks yeah. for coming in, guys. I think everything looks great. I'm excited to show you. This way. Let's go. Let's go. Check it out. Are we going through the fishing park? Hey, shut up. Did they build this door around that tree? How'd they land that plane in here? Oh, y'all shut up. Hey, there's some fudge over. Get off the fudge. I want some fudge. God. I think you guys are really going to like the new Duck Commander area. This must be what those NASA scientists feel like right before the space shuttle launches. Guys, I'm so excited to have you here. Bass Pro worked hard this last week, as well as you guys. Like all your hard work is about to be carried into the heavens. So without further ado. Oh, I can't wait to see this. That's it. Drum roll. Lots of teeth. Might have jumped the gun on that one. Mm. That's not the picture. <laughs> That's the wrong picture. Well, That's you got a pretty cool. good look about you. That's not the picture. That's the picture file we got from Jep. No, that's the wrong picture. I told him to delete that picture. Jep's a dead man. No, no, no. Well, we look good. Yeah, you look cool. I look like a doofus. Huh. This is some picture. Instead of like, wow, it was like, whoa. And the only thing you see there is teeth. It looks like Rambo made love to a beaver. And my first reaction was to back up. You know, I would have thought you'd have wanted to come forward, but I was going this way. Godwin, you look like you're in Willie's backpack. Like a baby Godwin. That's right. This is going to help move our merchandise? Too much grinning. No. Nope. Now, look at this. This picture here? Now, that's cool. That's a cool picture there. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> I think Jeff got it right. That's what I was talking about now, with this the is creative. This is Jeff, creative. Jeff's the creative one out of the whole bunch. Look at that. Now, that's the look you want right there. <laughs> Mess with me, and I'll chop your head off with one hand. Bill, I see well, Jeff, yeah. hey. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. You ever had an idea that sounds great and someone else comes in and gets all the credit? No, no, no. He was always the creative one. Oh, no my doubt. gosh. God. Yeah. That's a classic move. I cannot believe he did this. Where is he? he he's at the dodgeball tournament. Well, that would explain that. Yeah. It's the playoffs. I'll be back. I'm gonna kill him for doing this. I'm well, going fishing. I'm gonna go find me some waders. I'm going to find the fudge. I'm in. Jip, you did good, my boy. All of this beef has a blue stamp. This doesn't come out of the wild. This came out of the pasture. Y'all about. Thank you, Father, for your love, your goodness, your mercy. Thank you for providing this good beef steak for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Amen. Again, come on. Working with your family seems to amplify everything in business. The good becomes great, like being given your very own section at Bass Pro Shop. But it also means the bad can become awful, like when you see a 40-foot picture of yourself smiling while everybody else looks hardcore. Regardless, even when family embarrasses you, nothing feels better than knowing that they always have your back. Once they remove the kick me sign off of it, Oh, I can't believe you put that picture up. He looks like an action hero. That was my idea. Willie Hush. Good job, Will. Yep, good Thank game, you. Will. Yep, you look good out there. Right. Coach, good game, man. Thank you. Good game, Coach. Yep. Yep. Thank Coach. you. Be good. Hey, can I drive? Have you lost your mind? It's raining, son. Well, I have my permit. He does need to practice, even in the rain. Yeah. All right, we're gonna split the difference there. I'll let you back the truck out, and then I'm gonna drive home. You good with that? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Back it out. All right. Foot on the brake. Hey, I didn't serve overseas, okay, to die in a parking lot. Take your time. All right, man. Ten. Don't let two. Dad and Si make you nervous, now, Will. Okay. All right, take your time, but like a little faster than what you're doing. So it's kind of a tradition in our family that Willie teaches the kids how to drive. I potty trained them, also helped them with their homework, read books to them. All right, well, you got this. Y'all clear behind you. Stop. Oh, is that how you're doing? Put it in park. OK, well, you did You didn't kill anybody or <laughs> injure anybody. Good job. I never remembered you reading me a book. Me? You never remember me reading you a book? How soon they forget. I might not cook for you, but I read you a lot of books. 
I actually cook for you when you're a baby. <laughs> good job, Will. Thanks. He's been doing really good. I think he uh, might he's be. He's a big man. I think hey. he might be our best driver. Cut, cut it down to directions, son. Sir, I think I know what hey, I'm doing. Hey, you fixed to run over something? Hey, run over nothing. <laughs> Hey, I told you you was going to run over Sign. something. I just bumped it. <laughs> Coach, you all right? Um, he should let you drive. He should let you drive. Yeah, see? He should let you drive. Yeah. You knocked over the whole thing. You got to watch him knock a hole, yeah, Coach. Yeah, Sai was back there talking, distracting me. Willie, you cannot blame this on Sai. I can blame anything on Sai. You hit the cart. Uh, Y'all should break that tradition with him teaching them how to drive. I'll teach you. When's the last time you ran into something? On the way here. <laughs> on the way here, she said. She knocked out part of the mirror. Are the you way. serious? Yeah, she hit the garage. Yeah, that's true. So this is the family thing. Actually, John Luke ran into your car, right? Right. Whenever he first got his license. Right. That's Sorry. why I got tape set back there. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who told him? Dang it, that's a scratch. I'm having a hard yeah. time with this family. Oh, I had a buff right out. Don't worry about it. It's weird that we're going to have four kids that are driving. West Monroe will never be the same. It's a lot of insurance. Oh, yeah. You got the money to pay for it. Don't worry about it. Pipe right down, Sal. All right, sorry about that, Coach. Sal, si, see what you did. Hey, what? Me? Well, I'm saying you're sitting there in my ear the whole time. Do not blame your bad driving on me. Si. Dad, I don't think you should teach me. Missy, how are oh, you this Mr. evening? Mr. Kirby. Uh, is Jace here? Sure. Come on in. Hey, Jace. Look, it wasn't hey, me. Randy Kirby. Good seeing you again. Hey. One of our neighbors uh, noticed a beaver in our neighborhood, and they're uh, concerned that it may be rabid. Can beavers have yeah. rabies? Probably not. He's probably just saying this is my territory. Was this something you think you could help us with? Oh, I could take care of that problem quick. But I figured that wasn't part of the rules. OK, so the HOA does not want us to burn leaves in the driveway. Stupid. Jason, we're going to get in trouble again. Huh? Have chickens. Dumb. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. Chickens make me happy. You cannot have chickens. Dump grease in our flower beds. Ignorant. It smells like bacon. You can't dump grease in your front yard? No, sir. But now the tables have turned. I usually charge 50 bucks because they're scared of a little beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe as a favor to the neighborhood, you could uh, provide a little bit of pest control for us. Well, what if I dump my oil and grease in my yard, I take care of your pest problem, and we call it even? Well, if you'll take care of the beaver problem, then you can dump your grease in the backyard anytime you want. Oh, my god. Now goodness. we're talking. Now, there's one condition. We really need to be discreet. Hey. I'm all about discretion. You'll never know we're there. No, 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 really. You want in on the beaver hunt? I like when you come hunting with me. I'm not a big fan of duck hunting. But that's why you may be a beaver hunter, because you get to go at night. And I get to stay up late. No, 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 nobody's hunting a beaver under age 12. Yeah. You said under age deal. 12. I am 12. I did. Thank didn't you. I? Thank you. When I was a kid, this is how I bonded with my dad. We went hunting. That was the first positive thing that I saw him do. It's called family bonding. Oh, I might need to come out there and watch. Mom, no. Listen, this is awesome. It's going to work out perfect. I really appreciate it. Bye, Thank Mia. You, Bye, Randy. Missy. Good deal. Come by anytime. They eventually need something from you. And then the neighborhood warms up to you. They got a rabbit beaver. You should have asked for the chickens. <sighs> Because should have asked for the chickens. Why didn't we? I don't know. Hey, Dad, since it stopped raining, can I drive home? Ah, uh, maybe rain coming, son. Dad. All right, you got to practice sometime. He's got to practice. Wait. Look, he's not qualified to teach you. You were the one who hit the basketballs, babe. That's right. I kissed him like a gentle kiss. No, you didn't. You, no, no. It's because Look, you were talking while no, I was No, no, don't blame to... it on me. I ain't on the wheel besides, OK? Think of this this way. What if that had been bombs? What? Yeah, there could have been bombs, Dad. It could have been bombs. OK. Boom! We'd all be dead. 
you are not fit to teach this young man how to drive because you're not fit. Unlike me, I am fit. What does being uh, uh, fit have to do with driving? Yeah. There ain't but one guy around here that's qualified to teach you how to drive a vehicle. That'd be yours truly. Oh, no. OK. The only thing he can teach you driving-wise is the drive through at a restaurant. Right, true. May I take your order? Yep. Four massive burgers. I've drove everything from a Jeep to we an know. M1 Abrams M1 tank. M1 Abrams tank. We get okay. it, sir. So. Then I'm qualified. Actually, Dad, can we stop by somewhere to get something to eat? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you guys what. I'll get my driver's manual. A manual? And I'm gonna see who's best according to the manual. That's a good plan. Look, this is not about a book. Uh, this is about learning how to drive a vehicle safely. Sa, si, there are rules of driving that you have hey, to know. Look, I don't, you don't have to tell me. It's a jungle out there on that highway. The boy's got to know jungle rules, OK? Go ahead, You're not going to teach him how to drive. I think this is a good idea. It'll be good practice for Will. All right, fine. You got a deal. All right, go ahead and drive home there, buddy. We'll pick you up tomorrow if we remember to think about it. You better study, Si. By the way, what time y'all picking me up tomorrow? I'll text you. Hey, you know I don't text. We gotta go through the night like ghosts. Like shadow hunters? Yeah, that's it. Me and you gonna be shadow hunters. This is kind of like war paint. Brings out your sense to put food on the table. What are y'all doing? We're getting fired up. Aw, Neil, you look mean. <sighs> this is mainly for right. if we run up on people who are yuppies and they're wondering what we're doing out here in the pond. Just yell, Jep, Mia. If somebody walks out, just say, get down, Jep. When in doubt, blame a bearded man. I mean, I'm always worried and a little nervous about safety, but then I know how good your dad is about all that. Yeah. So I love it. I think the experience outweighs anything else. OK, well, she's got school, so. Um, Look, I don't expect to kill him the first night, but you happen to see him. OK, babe. Pow! Chase. It's all of it. Plus, when you start dating, if you can use a crossbow, that's going to be helpful. OK, we're changing the subject. If he ever has any kind of unwanted advance, you say, you know I know how to use a crossbow. Dad? <laughs> he gone. <laughs> 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 so you can use that line. Look, I got to get a picture, though, because this is your first beaver hunt. Really? <gasps> Take a picture of her down there with the beaver. Bye. Don't wait up for us. Good luck. Have fun and catch that beaver. Baby, don't catch beavers. You kill them. You kill them. OK, we'll kill that beaver. Bye. Have fun. How was that? Something moved. Hey, we're in the woods. Things move. Look at that. That's a track. It looks like blood, old blood, kind of. They make these little scent mounds. They poop and pee all over them, and they tell everybody this is our territory. That's what we're looking for. Eve. Everything leaves trails. So what is the first thing you look for? Poop. Poop? Show them right there. See what we've been gnawing on the tree? Do they not have taste buds? There's like baby trees or something, yeah, and they like right. eat them, and it turns like yellowish color. That's right. Kind of disgusting. Let's keep on. We're getting close. This is what we're looking for. I think there's more poop right there. I hate that it smells like pee and poop. There'll come a time in your life where you'll cherish that smell. I'm good. <laughs> Look at that. Ripples. He's up here. I gotta load this. Shh. See those ripples right there? See those ripples? Shh. Mia. Sorry. Oh, he's gone now. They, when they're alarmed, they slap their tail on the water. Oh, why can't we just wait it out? Because the neighbors probably just said, did you hear that scream? Every story you've ever seen this bad starts off with, I heard a scream. But it's scary. Well, don't fret, because we're going to come back. He's going down. Well, your mom will be happy. It's not too late. You got to train yourself. No screaming. Copy that. No screaming. Whoa! Hey, idiot. Yeah! All right, y'all ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your seatbelt on first. Safety always that's, first. That's one point off. Well, I, no, I had not technically put it in drive. Wait, hold on. One more thing. Got to check your mirrors. You got to check and see if there's any children. 
Whoa. Uh -oh. Minus two points. Hey. Too heavy on the gas pedal. You are not fit to teach this young man how to drive because you've had too many accidents. You run over and backed into me in the parking lot in my own truck. All right. Oh. So I haven't had a wreck in like 20 years. Oh, darken you three points. For what? Going too far past the stop sign. Right. Another minus one, no blinker. Well, you don't have to put a blinker on it. Oh, yeah, out. you got to put your blinker on. You was teaching Sadie how to drive, and she run over everything oh. in, the in the Duck Commander parking lot. Not true. Hey, look out. Hey, ho! Will, I'm hands down the best driving teacher. Oh. Docking you two points for driving with one hand. What are you talking about? Says it right here in section B. Section B. On page 23. 23, boy. If he teaches you how to drive, West Monroe is fixed to turn into a demolition derby. That'd be actually pretty fun. Well, hey, you, he's your man then. All right, Uncle Si, it's your turn. All right, first thing to do, right, safety boys, first, safety boys. Safety hey. first, boys, hey. Now, OK, check the mirrors, OK, yep, mm-hmm. All right, turn the blinker on. Hey, this thing got a little power, boy. All right, that's minus 10 points. There you go. <laughs> We're going uh, hold it. way Wait. over no, the no, speed limit. Hold it, hold it, no. Cy is an insane driver. <laughs> no, no. My driving record is relatively unscathed. Mine is. Zero scale. I've only had one okay. bad one. I, I ain't had none. Dock him for crossing the white line on the right. What do you mean cross the white line? All right, that's minus five points for you. What do you mean minus five <laughs> points? I've been driving since I've been about four months old. Huh? What? Yeah. My dad used to set me in his lap in the old Model T. Look, we're fixing to pull what is known as a U-turn. Starting right now, then here's the U part of it. That's a circle. So we're making what is known as a circle turn. Minus 20 points. <laughs> this is the guy you want teaching how to drive? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so what have you got? Y'all see your tabulizer in there? Both of y'all flunked the test. What? We've had our driver's license for way longer than you have. You know, what are we going to do now? Actually, I have an idea. What's that? Uh, we could go to Excalibur and go ride the go-karts. Now we're talking. Oh, please, no. Look at those ripples. After last night, you didn't be looking for you, Wilds. What's that? Unidentified yuppie onlookers. <laughs> The good thing about beavers, along with most critters, is they have terrible memories. You give them a night off, next night, they're back to doing the same thing they've been doing. Yeah, the shadow hunters never miss their target. At least not the second time. This arrow's gonna light up so we can track it. Wow, that's cool. All right, Alden, standing right there. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, sure, you're not ready. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, he's thrashing. I believe I got him. That was a good spot. I learned that beavers sink, so you have to, like, if you shoot it, you have to go in the water to get it. You either have to get them quick or you have to shoot them in shallow water because they sink like a rock. But they I don't sink. get They poop so much. Why aren't they skinny? It's a valid point. Oh, yeah. Ew. Hey, you know that sound you heard? That's what did it right there. Dad, be quiet. There could be a UIO. You want to carry him? I'm good. OK. Congratulations on your first bee run. The first of many. There, knock on the door. There you go. That's good. Hey, hey guys. Good Jace. news. Look at here. Oh, is that thing bleeding on my front porch? Oh, yeah. We got him. You could have just sent me a picture. Well, I needed the proof of death. We had a deal. Here he lays. There's we... blood all over the front porch. Here's my part of the deal. That's awesome. And we did it in the shadows. We did. We were discreet. So here's my plan. They're now going to say nothing about dumping bacon grease. But if I get rid of this carcass, then I might can get a little something extra. All right, enjoy the beaver. Oh, whoa, what am I supposed to do with this? There's always a problem. And guess who they're going to call? You. Jace Buster. Maybe we should change our name from Shadow Hunters to Shadow Busters. 
Nah. Well, disposal is extra. Our deal was for me to shoot the beaver. I shot the beaver. Well, I mean, I like we're the hunters. We just hunted something. Maybe it busted or something. Let me see. Who you gonna call? Shadow hunters. Yeah, that works. That works. We'll go. No, we don't need a theme song. I'm kind of thinking now, if you want me to take care of this beaver, then maybe every year when I burn my leaves, y'all look the other way. What, what about this? Do it in your backyard. Whatever happens in the backyard stays in the backyard. Deal. Good. What about the chickens? Mr. Robertson, thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Ooh. All right, come on, Mia. Y'all have a good evening. We'll take care of it uh, later. Thank you. Guys, this is the ultimate driving test. This is a go-kart race. We're going 10 laps around this whole track. I thought we was going 100, Grand Prix style. So we're not going 100 laps. We're going five. Five laps. I can do five in my sleep, buddy. Five laps, but it's a race to the death. Or at least you have to break something or be bleeding. He's going to be bleeding. Trust me, I'm going to put him in the wall. Si. Somebody's got to lose a finger. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hat's backward. Look out. I got wall on my mind, and I want Willie what is your problem? Now smack it. Me and Cy failed wheels driving test, so now we're gonna race go-karts to prove who's the better driver. Are we gonna do this or what? I got my money on the old crazy one. <laughs> if that wasn't crazy enough, the guys have placed obstacles from the warehouse on the track to make it more realistic. This is gonna prove nothing. I feel the need uh, for speed, boys. Look, the only reason I agreed to this stupid go-kart idea was I wanted to show Little Will that it takes real skill to drive. Well, I can't believe you talked me into this. I can't believe you even got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that I'm not going to be teaching a little Will how to drive from a gurney. Ready, set, go! Uh-oh. Willie's just dead. Oh! Uh -huh. He got loose. Look at him. Talk oh, oh, he's, he's talking to him now. Getting beat by a 90-year-old man. Run! Hey, right, Willie don't understand what he just got himself into. This is combat driving to the death. Ah! Two men enter, one man leaves. Oh, oh! Oh! He put a move on no. him. He put a move on him. We got a race. Whoa! Oh! 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 No! Something tells me Sai must have like a lifetime pass out here. Yeah. yeah! Shining and chrome, the hollow awaits. Last lap. Oh, look, look, look. Uh-oh, Willie making a run on the him. outside. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, put him in the statue. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> And the Grand Prix winner? Silas. <laughs> Yours truly. Right. Boom, baby. That was a dirty move. What do you mean a dirty move? That's the only move. I have learned a lot from what you have taught me, but I have come up with my teacher. Who? John Luke. That's the stupidest idea I've that's ever the heard. That's the plan now. That's the worst idea ever. John Luke's had five wrecks in like a year. I think so. He rolled his dad's pickup. He's totaled one of my trucks. Well, those who can't do, cheech. Oh, boy. That's fine, man. I'll give you three more laps. Double or nothing. Come uh, on. Uh, ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Make a new bet, boys. <laughs> Go, Si. Hurry up. Hey, what, what are you doing, knucklehead? Eat my dust, old man. All right, y'all bow. Thank you, Father, for another day. Thank you for the good food you blessed us with. I pray, Father, we do what is right in all circumstances, and we love our brothers in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Right, let's eat, boy. Let's get on. When you're raising kids or trying to coexist with your neighbors, sometimes you have to make some compromises, which may mean starting new traditions like a father-daughter beaver hunt or ending old ones like a father teaching their kids how to drive. Even though you might feel a little bit like you're being replaced, the most important thing is you're spending quality time with your family, and that's something that can never be replaced.
I can't believe we all picked John Luke. Hey, he could have been worse. He could have picked Corey. True. All right, look. Here's the deal. We bought a six-foot sub. Yep. Which should have been 15 duck calls. You know how many duck calls it is? How many? 14. We got dipped on this one, Jason. Yeah. That's almost a whole nother sandwich. We just got a chef. That's right. They gave us the shelf, boys. Six inches. Yeah, the six-inch shelf. It just ain't right. Recut it and shortchange yourself six, six inches. I like it. What are you doing? I'll tell you what's going on. We got the chef. I need the purchase order 105.3. Now? Right now, during lunch break? Yes, I need to match it up right now. I wasn't going to bring that up, but it is lunch break. It is? Are you break. kidding me? Hey. You threw in the garbage? No, this is a file. Chase, if there's one thing you can rely on these guys to do at work, it's take long lunch breaks. If there's something you can't rely on them for, it's pretty much everything else. Handy man. Eek. Actually, that does match. OK, so Jay's found the thing. But any normal employee would have lost it. So in a way, he's so disorganized, he can't even lose something properly. We need a bigger bin so I don't have to keep doing this. You need to organize that whole thing. At least get a filing cabinet or a binder. Crap, get a trapper keeper. But if I need to come back here and get something, you need to be able to hand it to me just like that. I did just hand it How to you. How would you fix that? I know, this was an exception. But if I asked for another one, I guarantee you couldn't find it. I'll take that bet. I don't have enough, but the point is, that's not a file cabinet. Look, I know what's in here. That's right. Who's going to step up and organize the darn filing cabinet? I would, but my plate's full. Hire uh, somebody. Hey, right here. See? I, I wish you were more like that. I actually don't want to do it, but <laughs> I think if you hired Alan, he could do He's the most organized person I know. Agreed. Hey, I've got too, too many brothers of mine working up here. Blood's thicker than water. Hey. All right, who's gonna step up and be the team leader? Hire Alan. Yeah. We need Alan. That's right. We, we need, need Alan. Alan. We, we need, need Alan. Alan. We need Alan. All right, I'll think about it and talk to Al, but y'all need to step up. That thing needs to be organized. All right, everybody right. come get your hey, sandwich. Uh, I want the end piece. Uh, uh, what do you mean you want the end piece? Look here, I was copy fishing one day. Look. No, here we go. Cart goes on there. No, no, the cart goes on there. Look. I caught a big old octopus. OK, huh? look, an octopus. And look, I made tacos out of that sucker. You tell me, good. Where was you at when you caught an huh? octopus? I was in the lake. Are you kidding? No. There's what? salt water only. <laughs> and when they get in fresh water, boy, they, hey, you tell me. Al, what's happening, ladies? What are you doing here? I'm the office manager. Awesome, <laughs> checking out our efficiency needs. So look, I want to hear from you guys. What are some things that we can do to be a little more efficient around here? Let's take our TV out of the 90s. You guys watch a lot of TV? Uh, it's not even HD. Yeah. It doesn't know what that is. You reckon we could get a ice cream machine? Do you think that would help efficiency? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants some ice cream. That's exactly right. So I had the opportunity to put together a little list of things I think is going to help us. I've been working on uh, some ways that can be efficient. Yep. OK. So you guys are going to rotate through trash cleanup, sweeping, mopping, the kitchen, which is a disaster zone. But I'm having flashback to my army days here with all this crap <laughs> I'm looking at here. Hey, right, look, there's a reason I retired from the military. Two words, organization. Well, I know this is going to take a little time to soak in. I don't know about all this. Al reminds me of this superior I had. We called him Sergeant Slaughter, because wherever he went, OK, he was a killer machine of fun. Oh, we can do it, Sides. So the team's no, more. I don't We're all going to pull so. together. Sarge walks in. Robinson, clean the bags. Tuck in that shirt. And hey, do something with them boots. They smell like rotten cabbage. Hey, look, I don't know why he was hung up with my boots, OK? It was my feet that smelled like cabbage. What I'm going to do the rest of today is just observe. I need to see what you guys are doing in here. So you just carry on like I'm not even here. What about a big refrigerator? I'm not here, Gowan. I'm just observing it. I'm not here. 
You just gonna stand there? Not here. Do what you'd normally do. Uh -huh. oh. oh, you're gonna realize you're here in about 20 seconds. I'm not here. Corey, what time did you say that alarm went off? It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's a motion detector that went off in the front yard. I told you, somebody was here. I'm not going to say somebody was here. Something tripped the alarm. What I'm sure it was a raccoon or a dog or something. How do you know? Because the dogs, I can tell by the way they bark. Oh, please. They have an animal bark and they have a person bark. It's a distinct bark. Corey got so riled up over our security alarm going off last night, she called in our security guy, Dan. Dan, write the code on the wall above the alarm. Why would you want to do that? So you can remember it, so you can turn it off. Well, then if a burglar comes in and the alarm goes off, he's going to read the code and just turn well, it off. If he's already in, we would know he's here. Corey is panicking, but these alarm malfunctions happen all the time. If they didn't, the expression, false alarm, wouldn't exist. We've got to get the security alarm working. It's working. It goes off all the time. Right about now, I want to install a security system that will protect me from ever having this conversation again. I spent a lot of years on the force. You've got to pay attention to it. That's what it's here for. Hmm. Oh, no. Wise beyond your ears, you are. I think I got you rigged up. I got to go. I've got a class. You taking some college classes? I teach a class. Jedi training. <laughs> It's actually a self-defense class. Apparently, I'm going to need that, since Willie's not real concerned about the security around here. Ah! I better learn to take care of myself. Ah! There is one pressure point I can show you that he'll wet his pants. Really? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Pipe down, Dan. I want to learn that. Could we come by tomorrow for a class? The only problem with tomorrow is my assistant's not available. I have to have someone that I demonstrate on. John Luke will do it. What, what do I have to do? Endure a little pain. They're going to beat the crap out of you. Huh. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. I'll write you tomorrow. Thanks, we'll Dad. Appreciate it. John Luke, I am your father. You're hilarious. Hilarious, I am. We've been violated, boys. What in the world? I'm telling you, we've been violated. Where's my stuff? Violated. Name tags? Well, at least you got the chairs right. I think that's my chair. No, that's mine. It's got my name on it. I get up to go to the bathroom all the time. I can't be sitting in the middle. Oh, no. Uh-uh. This ain't bad. How am I supposed to fit right here? Why are y'all sitting down? Because I'm tired. This is usually where I get my best rest. This is the problem with people like y'all. Somebody comes and changes the way we do things, and y'all are like, OK. This is a comfortable chair. I like it. Bunch of dumb oxen. I do like this chair, though. I've got a feeling how this might have happened. And that's only mildly creepy. Look, I love Al. He's the best beardless man that I know. However, he can be a real nuisance. We're like puppets, and Al thinks he's the puppet master. When I was a kid, he was the boss. We're not kids anymore, though. I figured that was obvious. Do not touch, touch anything. Any Thing. Thing. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. This aggression will not stand, boys. The other thing that should be obvious, I don't take orders from beardless men, just as a general rule. Morning, men. Ha! Huh. What do you think of the changes? Funny. I think it sucks. That's how you haven't even given it a chance. How would you like for me to come? I, I'll ask this. How would Lisa like for me to come into her bedroom uh -oh. and then just real rank Everything. She'd have you arrested, first of all. If you <laughs> well, take that's what we ought to do to you. So what's that in your hand? Good observation, Martin. This is your timesheets. <laughs> what? So here's the way it works. Whenever you guys need to take a break, mm -hmm. you punch out. No. Si, you need to take a nap, you punch out. No. Jep, you've got a gas attack, you punch out. Oh, yeah. We have to keep track of time. No. Nope. I'm gonna leave these here. Do not destroy these. I know you guys can do it. Come on, be all you can be, sir. No, I'll see that. the army, in, boy. You can do it. Ain't gonna happen. I think since he sent us a message, we need to send him a message. Yeah. What do you think to do? Things are changing. <laughs> this aggression will not stand, boys. 
Number one, this is not a dance class. This is not a Pilates class. This is not a get fit class. This is a get mean class. We're gonna show you how to get out of a number of grasps or holds. It doesn't take size. It doesn't take strength. It has nothing to do with age. All it is is leverage, speed, and the target. Oh, wow. Ever been attacked? Anybody oh, wow. ever had an altercation? You know, I have miniature farm animals, and I have a little pygmy goat, sweet as pie. He decides to headbutt me in the back of the knee. When he did that, guess what happened to my other knee? I went down. Goats aren't the only ones that can do that. Well, sometimes Willie tickles me and I can't get him off me. I promise you, when we get done, if you don't want him tickling you, he will not. <laughs> Good. So, John Luke, if you'll step over here, then we'll start demonstrating some stuff. All right, John Luke. Woo -hoo! Yeah, right. John Luke. You got this, John Luke. I'm so glad all the wives decided to join me today because there are a lot of unpredictable people out there and you just never know when someone's gonna try to hurt you or someone you love. John Luke, you are fixing to hit the ground. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Also, I can't stand it when Willie tickles me. I can take this hand and make him do anything I want him to do. Stand on your tippy toes. <laughs> tippy toes. I take a finger and eat snot, <gasps> and I go straight down. Oh, good oh. grief. If Dan's demonstrations with John Luke are any indication of what I'm going to learn today... Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Oh. Yeah. I don't think Willie's going to be winning any more tickle battles. I own him. Yeah. Whatever I want is mine. Is it normal for the perpetrator to start laughing at this point? No, I can stop that. Oh, oh, Mom! Don't hurt him. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Poor John Lee. Oh. I'm going to do that to Willie. All right, Johnny D, we need a new flavor for the menu. So i got to see which one you think is the best. Uh -huh. Mississippi pan juice or Attila the Runs. I thought it was a little hot. <coughs> yeah, it's hot. <clears throat> Is it in your sinuses? Oh, uh, I don't think I have any hair left in my nose. It hit, that's where it hit me. <laughs> my sinuses would totally open up when I did it. What's that? What do y'all need? He made a bad mistake. This is this is an emergency. Yeah, he messed up. We're having a scientific meeting. I thought it'd be a good idea to hire Al, but uh, now it'd be a better idea to fire him. Yeah, you need to fire the yeah. boy. It was your idea. I said I made a bad call. He, that's made, not, he messed up. That's not easy for me you to say. You need to direct I'm not firing out. He's a vibe killer. What he's doing is, is killing productivity. Well, there's very little productivity. I don't know how he can kill that. Nah, we're getting all ordered out. I don't even know what he's doing, so I don't care. He brought in paperwork, time cards, all this junk, cleanup detail, and all that junk. The more you talk about it, it sounds like he's doing a good job. No, he's not. No. Trust me. No. You're the one saying he was going to save everything, and that's exactly what we needed. Uh, if he stays, production's fixed to go down. Oh, it's already gone down. We could be building duck calls right now. Look, if he stays, we're out of here. Yeah, we're out. No, no. Alan needs to be fired. You hired him, you fire him. Oh, I've been wanting to fire my brother for years. All right, y'all need to get back to work. Hey, Al took all our snacks. Hand me one of them wings. All right, I got you the perfect wing right here. That's good a good one great, there. Johnny D. There you go. Good grief, son. Johnny D. Do you like that? See? It's really not bad. Are you kidding me? What's that called? Attila the Runs. How? No. Bro, that was my water. Tell them boys to put some hot sauce in that stuff. I told you it wasn't Let's that hot. He eats a lot of weird stuff every day. You're such a pansy. All right. Do you want to learn how to defend against this? It's orange. It's kind of cute. It's still cute. a gun. I love orange. It's not intimidating at all. It looks like a pumpkin gun. It's a prop. It's how we teach you how to defend against Is a handgun. Is it rubbery? Gun. Do they make guns in, like, pink and stuff for girls? Ooh, oh, yellow, like the sunshine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty floral print or something. I like polka dots. I do, too. You know what? We should get a purse that has that little pocket in there, <gasps> that concealed yeah. weapons pocket. Everybody agreed we like orange. Everybody agrees it's pretty. It's even pretty if it's polka dot. We're all good with that. We may look like a group of dainty Southern Bells, but us Roberts and Wives, we've got a little fight in us. All right. Perry, step, elbow. All right, whoop, stop, stop, back up. We're not afraid to throw down if the situation calls for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what happened? Okay. I think
think any time you marry into a family of stubborn men, you learn to fight for what you want. Go for the wrist. OK. How do you jam the gun? With the second hand. You come uh, over the top with the second hand. Uh, <laughs> Very good. It. You, yeah. figured, you figured it out. You figured it out. Although the Robertson men are definitely softer the younger they get. Oh, John Lee. Lee. He looks so cute. Oh, 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 like a transformer. Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, look, he's got home plate attached to his growing. <laughs> I know you don't want to hurt him, but I think oh, no. we can now make can you have a little incentive. Uh oh. Think about his smart mouth. Oh, look, just think, think about this. He's got you on the ground. And he is tickling you. Oh, that makes oh, me mad. It's going down. Get him. <laughs> come on, come get him. Come on, him. All right. Right. Come on Corey. Kick. Oh, kick. Get him. Good. Kick. Hey, let's Good. Get Good. Him. Good. Come Good. Good kick. Good kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. You never learned. You take on one Robertson woman. You take on all of them. <laughs> What's up? Well, I'm uh, wondering about this. Well, I, I don't really know what happened. Well, here's what I know. We're up on production, no TV, timesheets are being turned in. There's a schedule now for the next six months. How long have you been here? Two days. Hang on, let me get him in there. I need Jace to come to my office immediately. J were you listening to our conversation? We well, were looking for something. What oh. are you looking for in Corey's office? Stuff. Where's Cy? Si? He's been in the bathroom for like an hour. Yeah. Did he clock out for that? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I could hear the moans and the groans through the walls. He said that stuff wasn't hot. What you is see this that? defacing of company property? I've just been trying to find the person who did it. I've been carrying it around. Mm, I bet. Oh, I see you got your memo. Here's the deal. Al just informed me that production's up, so I'm thinking about keeping him around. That's a bad Finally, call. Finally, somebody that appreciates. He's exactly right. It's a terrible idea. You know who else was exactly right? This guy right here. No, no. He's the one that saw you. No. I'm trying to build you up. You're right. right. No, I was wrong. I'm saying you're right. I was wrong. No, you're wrong because you were right. No. You know what I'm saying? You're wrong. But you're wrong thinking that you weren't right. You're both wrong. What I'm saying is, Al's staying, and I like the direction he's taking the company. Exactly what we need. Because I've been seeing some things, Willie, that, quite frankly, need to be organized at the top. For Jace? No, no, I'm talking about you. Believe me, I got my stuff in line, all right? Because I've been observing for two days now. Don't look after what I... I think trickle-down has to start trickling. He's on to something here, right? And we need some trickle-down organization. He's right about that. No, he's wrong about that. No. I've already trickled all exactly. I can trickle. I want to start the trickle at the top, and then it's going to trickle down. That's what I'm doing. That's why I brought you in. You're part of the trickle. I'm not enough trickling. Somebody didn't trickle right, all right? I'm just saying, if you want this to be a well-oiled machine, then I need to begin here. I don't need somebody telling me what to do. I got a list that I need to talk okay. about. Okay, all right. Jace, you're right. Al, you're out. You're fired. It's just business. Here, you can have this. Fired for helping the company? Chalk it up for just a two-day experience. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Good grief. Good grief. Oh, man. Whoa. Look, I'm telling you, boys, Mount St. Helen didn't have nothing on what just happened in the bathroom. You didn't want to be in there. No. I just had a glimpse of hell. All right, we got it. Did you clock out? Has he got uh, squared away here yet? Yeah, he gone. I mean, I love you. You're my favorite nephew, but, you know, hey. You know, better times. What do you want, son? Ice would be nice. Oh. I got it. Yeah, we got, we got enough okay, of the okay. exit. Okay, well, I just, you know, right. I didn't know. I wasn't sure you got it. We got it. I would sit down, but I can't. God. You talking about bad? Good green. <laughs> Now, what you got to remember is you got to get mean. Well, y'all got it figured out. Look what the cat drug in. Uh... I texted him to come by because I have been very pleased with what I've seen today. It's like yoga class, huh? Uh, uh far from it. No, we bad. Yep. All right, y'all got some cheerleading moves or not? Oh, please. Oh. Who's Robo Flop over there? <clears throat> Are you wearing a diaper? <clears throat> well, one of the pressure points actually make you pee. You're telling how many people's peed in that thing. We can show you some things they've learned. Anybody want to go? Come on, Corey.
sorry. This is from the straddle position, which means the woman is laying in the bed, she wakes up, and they're trying to strangle her. It's the hardest move to get out of. Corey does it very well. There is nothing better than getting back at your husband for messing with you. All right, let's do All it. Right, do it, do it, do it. This will be a piece of cake. I'd actually like to try to figure out that pee your pants move. That would totally be the sweetest payback. Get on top of her, put your hands around her throat. So Sit on me. If you're scared, say you're scared. I'm not scared. We'll straddle her. Especially since the last time we had a took a fight, Willie made me pee my pants. Just like a tiny bit. I mean, he's made me pee my pants a few times. Go. All right, Corey, come on. Go, 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 go. Roll out. Oh, Girls win. Yeah, Girl power. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Perfect. We bad. Uh, 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 all right, y'all bow. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. For that, we are humbled and hopeful. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 We've all had those moments in life where, for better or for worse, your family exceeds your expectations. Sure, it can catch you off guard. Like your older brother getting way too involved in your work habits or underestimating your wife's self-defense skills. Which, for the record, I wasn't trying that hard. Regardless of what happened today, it's important to embrace each other. Not just because we share the same last name, but for what makes us different. No matter how different. Let me tell you, Attila the Hunt, she is a mean, sadistic little heifer. Willie. Hmm? You got a package from Gallant, South Africa. Oh, my biltong. Biltong? My biltong. What's biltong? African jerky. Oh, God. Anybody who knows about real beef jerky knows about biltong. It's the land of the great meats. You got wildebeest. Biltong is delicious. Kudu. Biltong is pungent. Springbok. Biltong is exotic. Gimsbuck. And biltong is really, really fun to say. Is biltong an animal? Biltong is the word for African jerky. Biltong. Biltong. Everybody wants a little biltong. Biltong. Mm. Oh, that stinks. It smells delicious. I smell me some meat. Hey, I lost the scent. No, I'm telling you, it's down here. You're right. I smell what it. You got? What? What's in the box? Tight stuff. So I'm part bloodhound. The nose don't lie. We've been trailing this. Look here, I can smell like a hawk, boys. It stinks, doesn't it? No, it smells delicious. You name it, hey, I can smell it. I smell meat. Ducks, deer, alligator. I got work to do, and this whole office is smelling like... Dog crap, cotton mouths, K's cooking. It's Bill Tom. Bill Tom, I told Bill, you! Bill Tom? Can you sense the smell? From South Africa. Bill Bomb? Bill Tom. It's jerky. Why didn't he say that? That's what he said. I smell meat. Let's eat, son. All right, this is mine. I put Jack Links in the break room for you guys. That's why we came in here. No, we ate all that. I just put it in there. I know. That was gone yesterday. I'm not here to feed you guys. You're here to work. Are you serious? You're not going to share that? Mm-hmm. That's just wrong. Now you want to eat it? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy your own crap. That's it. I'm out of here. You're a terrible brother. Hey, give me a piece of it. I just licked it. Hey, five second rule. That's when it hits the ground. No, it applies to everything. into a jerk over this jerky. I mean, he's got enough for about three months, which he'll probably consume in three days. We have, as rednecks, the right to eat beef jerky. Do you think the reason he looks like Sasquatch is because he eats so much beef jerky? No, I think it's because he just doesn't care about body appearance. <laughs> uh, beef jerky is a redneck's fuel. John, did you just eat all the Jack Links? I just told Willie we were out. 
We are. You take away his beef jerky, you're worse than Willie, sitting in the corner, sucking his thumb. Everyone knows that. Sam, what are you doing with that box? This is my complaint box. What are you going to complain about? I'm going to complain about Willie not giving me any of the jerky he just got in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. I should have thought of this complaint box years ago. There is so much to complain about around this joint. He's stingy. And selfish. Hey, we got no sofas for napping, no iced tea dispenser. They took away camo Friday. We need a lifelong supply of coffee and jerky. No taco truck. Martin's ugly mug. And hey, the peanut to chocolate ratio in the trail mix is on the peanut heavy side. And we need a better grade of toilet paper. That's right. That's a true statement. That right. toilet paper we got now, it's like John Wayne. It don't take crap off nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why I always go to the women's bathroom. They got better toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Put that in the complaint box. Hey, look, I'm gonna need a bigger box. i tell you what we need to do. We need to make our own jerky. I got a lot of deer meat at the house. I got a dehydrator. Perfect. You don't want to share your jerky? Fine. We'll go get the dehydrator. I'll go get the meat. I'll make my own biltong. We'll make our own jerky. I'll call it Jaystone. Well, let's go right now. And when you ask for some of it, you know what I'm going to say? Can't have any Jace jerky. Now, that rolls off the tongue. Jerky. You know, I'm starting to put the pieces to our problem together. We drink a lot of strong black coffee, we eat a lot of beef jerky, and we use a lot of toilet paper. I think y'all crap too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Will. Willie. Well, what in the world are y'all doing here? We just got back from the doctor. Uh-oh. You want to help whatever you got? Some of this biltong. Well, simply put. We're dying. What? Miss K and I are healthy as we can be, as far as I know. You're dying? You're both dying? One need day we fix to kick the bucket. If you've made it 65 years, you're like, we're ahead of the game. But we will go. Did he say anything about dying or someone's dying? Yeah, we're gonna die. Mom, I know we're gonna die at some point. He never said specifically what would kill us. We're like everyone else. At some point, presto, they gone. So no one's dying, right? Well. Not at the moment. We just want to make sure that what we leave behind is in order. Is this about your will? Who gets what, you know, so oh, you don't fight it. Gosh, all right. So I'm saying, let's go down there, look at the property lines, get it all divided up. Today? Today, right now. Do you know I fell asleep in the bathtub last night, and it's about the hundredth time I've done that? I could just sink on down to that water, and that'd be it. I don't know what the doctors told Phil and Kay, but now they're all fired up about dying. I open the bathroom door, look here. Lay them back in the bathtub. They're being a little melodramatic, if you ask me. Mom, you're not gonna drown. Who drowns in a bathtub? Her cell phone drowned in the bathtub. And four books. They're dead. All of it. I swear, this conversation... Have you thought about just maybe taking a shower? She lives in the bathtub. It's gonna kill me. Look, if it means we can just stop this conversation, I'll come down, we'll look at the property, we'll start from there. You the man. What is that smell? It's Bill Tom. Looks like that's dangerous to your health. I still can't figure out why don't we do this over a map? Well, nothing sticks in a man's ears like his father's voice. Oh, bull crap. This is a terrible plan. Don't you think we should write this down somewhere? And... A man's word's better than putting it on paper. You ever wonder why families end up arguing over their inheritance? See all this right here in the house behind you? That goes to Island, your oldest brother. What? It's because their parents asked their son, who isn't getting the house, to remember the will. Why is it Allen's? He's the oldest. It's in the Bible. Tell him, Phil. It dates back to the Old Testament. The firstborn had precedent over all the rest of them. I'm glad I didn't get sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. If you want to guarantee that your passing is handled correctly... However, if Al dies... Jason. Well, and my... then next would be Willie. And then it goes to Cy. You've got to make sure you have a good backup plan. 
Si's so old as crap. I don't think you want to be working him into the inheritance. Look at him. We never thought he'd live this long, did we? The more backups, the better. You left out one of your sons. Well, that's right. There, no. Backups. What about Jeff? For backups. It really should be Jace. For backups. To Willie. For backups. To Jeff. There you go. Now it's And then to Si, if y'all all die, like, in a plane crash or something. God. Yeah. I probably should leave something to Bobo and JJ, too. We ain't getting any younger, Will. Let's go. Always be prepared. Drive careful. Gawain, show us what you got here. Hey, it's jerky time, boys. Man. You know what they say? A man's garage is a reflection of his personality. I got a lot of personality. I see that. Jace, jerky, may have hit its first snag. So where's your dehydrator? It's out here somewhere. We just got to dig for it. <laughs> the good news is, Gawain has a dehydrator. Well, you think you're going to find this dehydrator amongst know. all this? That's also the bad news, because it's somewhere in this shed. The last time I used it, I was uh, not making the sandwich one time. Bike is awesome, Gawain. That's my little mini bike. I raced it. They used to call me the flying flea. <laughs> when I think of insects that remind me of Galvin, now you're the crawling walrus. I'm not thinking about a flea. You can't even get on that now. Uh, I can still ride them things. Maybe a stink bug or a giant beetle. I might have put on a few pounds, but I could smoke you on that. <laughs> In other words, something that could eat a flea. You ain't never seen me ride, have you? Oh, I don't have to see you ride. Galvin, this is about geometry. You got too much weight. Chase, I'm pretty sure it's physics. Physics, chemistry, geometry, zoology. Well, let's take it out in the yard. I just hate to whip a man at his own house. Chow, 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 chow. Oh. Buck, 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 buck. Oh. Buck, 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 buck. I'm with Gowan. Why are you sitting on the chicken? Gowan. Oh. That's a croak. Buck, buck, buck. Let's get it on, boys. Chow. Well, let's do it. Let's get the race hey, done. <laughs> you ain't All gonna right. tell me twice. Hey, it's shut up or put up. I think it's actually put up or shut up. It's also physics if we're making corrections. Bill, why we gotta do this today? Well, you never know. I may kick the bucket tomorrow. I'm starting to think this whole inheritance land division thing. You know, they got aerial maps. You can just look at this. You don't have to physically go out and look at it. It's just an excuse for Phil to hang out with me. There's something about eyeballing them, getting a visual, get a compare tree there. I already know the piece he plans to give me, but I'll pretend to be surprised. For me? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, man, this is cool. Yeah, look at that. Carol photograph don't do justice. I actually gotta agree with you. You talk about pretty. This thing's flowing fast, too. It used to flow way more than that. I used to pee in an arc, a high arc. But now you gotta watch your boots, you know what I'm saying? I thought we were having a moment, Dad. Oh, I'm having a moment. Gross. Yeah, old Jace is gonna like this piece. Oh, this is his spot. This is his spot. What do you think? At least you peed on his part. Well, come on, Will. Is that the same hand you just peed with? OK, so Al gets the house, and Jace gets the river. But I'm sure that my piece will have the best hunting locations. I mean, I do run Duck Commander. Oh, I remember this spot, Phil. This is where you whacked your first mile of duck, ain't it? Yep. A lot of memories right here. Old Jeff's gonna love this piece. This goes to him. He's a baby. No wonder Phil didn't want to use a map. He should get the lake. He certainly likes fishing during work hours. It would have been too obvious that I was getting screwed. Yeah, you can rethink this thing. You know, it's, it's not official yet. Phil? Hey, all right, we're leaving. Yours is coming up. It'll knock your eyes out. Mm-hmm. Gawain, you look like a big bull riding a skinny cowboy. <laughs> Save a motorcycle, ride a bull. Hey, give me some gas, sir. All right. Hi, what are you doing? Hey, I'm checking to make sure it's fresh. This stuff will go bad on you. Will it? Yeah. All right, look here. It's very simple, OK? Hey, you've got to give everything the smell test. Look, you always sniff gas, OK? No, I don't I don't sniff gas. No, look, you got to sniff it. 
You wouldn't pour yourself a bowl of cereal without checking the milk first. No wonder you used to crazy. You've been sniffing what? gas. Hey, you don't do that when you fill up? No. One time I smelled gas so bad, it knocked me out. Y'all are nuts. Hey, bad gas, OK? Hey, I went down like a sack of potatoes, boys. So si, one day you're going to end up in your underwear, walk around out in the woods, trying to figure out who you hey, are. Hey, was you over at the house yesterday? No. Well, hey, I was walking around in my underwear yesterday checking something out on my land. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna sit around and we gonna race these things. Let's get it on. This race is a classic battle. Man versus beast. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be between Jace and Big Boy here. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Well, I guess in this case, it's man versus beast versus little girl. You're always calling me a girl. I'm out here on a bike. I'm out here on a bike. Who's the girl now? You are. You want to embarrass yourself? Yeah, there's butterflies on your helmet. Whatever. I'm here for funsies. Knock yourself out. Here's the road. Go around the trees, around the yard, back through here three times. Most important rule, if any of you knuckleheads knock my tee off, you get a swift kick in the butt. Let's race. All right. Gentlemen, start your engine. <laughs> Here comes the blind fleet. You don't have the power. Too much weight. Not enough engine. False lap. All right, look here. Yawin doesn't look half as bad as I thought. Yawin, you're yawin, yawin. It's physics. Hey, don't hit me. Watch where you're going. But Jeff, on the other hand, he looks twice as bad. Second lap. Wallace has gained a little ground, boy. So the math works out. You can't win, Gowan. Blind fleet's on your turn. I am the walrus. Victory! Oh, come on. And the winner! <laughs> Consider the lesson. I'm impressed. The flying flea has been swatted. All right, you win. Let's go get the dehydrator and go make some jerky. Oh, yeah, the dehydrator. Hey, that's your second lap. You can go one more time. OK. Hey, uh, hey! <laughs> you turkey. All right, now we're talking. We got the dehydrator. Where in the crap have y'all been? We got in a motorcycle race. Oh. I had to give these boys a geometry lesson. It's physics. Pick a number. Huh? Three. One, two, three. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like your stuff. I got bored. Y'all been gone for four hours. OK. We got a little sidetrack in the pursuit of Goblin's dehydrator. You said that meat's any good? Huh? But we're one step closer to delicious deer jerky. Hold on. Oh, boy. This meat, on the other hand, it's drawing flies. Yeah, I'm in a lot of flies. Smelled a little bit like my underwear. Is cause for concern. Got a fly problem. Hey. Bite. Shrapnel. He gone. Ha! What? I think he got <laughs> What'd you do, scare him? He didn't hey, even look. hit anything. <laughs> look, I ain't gonna hit the table. I'd break the table. <laughs> Knucklehead. Hey, look here. I learned a lot from Steven Seagal, OK? These things are legal weapons. Or what? Legal weapons. Legal weapons? Yeah, they're not illegal. Hey, look here. They're, they're legal. legal. Hey, look here. There's nothing more American <laughs> than a man with a ponytail, <laughs> kicking boat with a pool stick, <laughs> and karate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. I don't understand why Steven Seagal doesn't do more movies. I need a knife. You got a knife? Less talking, more cutting. Let's go. Right? Watch out. Let me cut some. Yeah. We are so close to the finish line, I can smell it. Si, you think your underwear smells bad. Smell this. Hey, smell this. Hey, smell this. Get back, boy. On second, though, maybe that's not the finish line I'm smelling. I mean, this just stinks. Either way, I can't wait to get my hands on that jerky. This is going to be good. <laughs> you doggone right it is. Hey, it's all like Bill Tom. All right, Will. Oh, this is yours. Of course, this ought to bring back old memories. Look ah, right here. Ah, the fence. Remember when you marked this? Yeah. Knocked yourself out with your own post hole diggers. 
I remember. Which very few men have accomplished. I have some fond memories of the events that took place on this piece of property. Remember you got in the truck? We went up the road there at that little old church. I pulled over in front of all them old women. He just Bleh! right on the road in yeah. front. Yeah, you were laughing. I had a concussion. It's just not the kind of conduct you would expect out of a future CEO. Bleh! <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, the memories live on. I say that's a good inheritance. <whistles> uh, but they're all we can take. They're gonna put a pipeline right down through this right of way. There's a pipeline coming out? Yeah. Yeah, huh. I already worked out a deal with them. You can build on top of it? No, I wouldn't do that. Nice. Well, other than that, it's a beautiful piece of property, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. You get four sons, you say, well, where should Willie's piece of land be? That's why you're the CEO, you're the one who can handle that. Then you get to thinking right in the middle. A lot of fond memories. Jace gets a river running through it, and I get a pipeline. Keeping everything held together here. Old Will, right in the dead middle. Fun day, Dad. Can't wait to see the pipeline. Whoa, what is that smell? That's just size underwear. No, it ain't. It's the beef jerky and hay. Let's check it. There's flies everywhere. Oh, it looks yeah. right. Mm-mm. This jerky is going to be awesome. Ooh, it's kind of musty. That's worse than Willie's built home. You're talking about tough. Yeah. Let's see right here. Uh-oh. OK, maybe edible. There ain't no tearing at all. No, nope, that's a dog treat. Yeah, it smells like a dog treat. That's pretty good. You <laughs> like that? Pretty good. No. It's terrible. This has got a wang to it. No, boys, hey, that's gasoline. I know gas, OK? And this is bad gas. Good grief. What'd you clean this out with? Carburetor cleaner. Hmm. No. What? <laughs> that's never good. Well, if it tastes as bad as it smells, then y'all don't need to be eating it. You want mine? No. Look, y'all just take the company credit card and go buy some Jack Links. Deal. We've struck it rich. Look, clean this up. I'm locking up, guys. I'm gonna bring it to my dog, Lizzie. Hey, why ain't I got a company card? Hey, that's going in the complaint box. All right, y'all bow. Father, we thank you for your love, your goodness. I thank you, Father, for all my kids that you gave me, my four sons, through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 On any given day, you expect life to throw you some curveballs. Like Phil, taking me out on the land so he can tell me how much I won't be inheriting or when the guys blow off work to make jerky that smells like size underwear. It just goes to show you that life isn't always about living up to your expectations. It's the pleasant surprises that keep us coming back for more. Jace, the smell of your jerky's gonna make me vomit. Kinda like a pair of post-hole diggers. <laughs> <laughs>